Okay, guys, so welcome to the Grove. Uh, this is going to be for the ancestor part here. All right, so <laughs> I sure hope I can sell these to you guys. Anyway, uh, I went nuts and got a bayberry bush, which is going to be good. And I also got a tree of life. Okay, Pussy Will, probably my, besides a birch tree, it's got to be my very favorite of all trees. Uh, got another smoke bush and can't remember what that one is uh, can't remember the name of it yeah I did when I was at the store but now I don't remember it's a good shrub anyway that one and there's another smoke bush there and well, you know I had to. I had to get my pup the tree of life too. So, um, there you go, pup. You got your very own tree of life. And it will be sitting right there in that spot. Right there. Right by Sherry, you see? Actually, I was thinking about putting it in the spot there. So it's behind you and beside Aurora. So anyway, I got you your own tree of life. Uh, so I hope you like it. Uh, there's your tree, girl. Uh-huh. There's Drew's tree. Okay, so those are all going in, and we'll talk to you soon. Okay, there's the bayberry bush put in. It is open to be collected from somebody. Uh, so is the pinky winky. And that one bush over there by Shakara. So those three are open, the rest are taken. And these ones are gonna be open too, so. Next, I'm putting my tree of life. All right. There's a tree of life. Uh, That's my tree of life. It's a pussy willow. But that's my tree of life anyway. So there you have it. Okay, back soon. There we go. I think he, that looks goody. Yeah, yeah. Tree of Life and the Bay Barrier are done. Very nice. Tree of Life doesn't belong to anybody. It belongs to everybody. All right, it belongs to the Grove. Any, anyone that's part of the Grove, Tree of Life belongs to with you. So, it doesn't belong, belong to anyone. It belongs to everyone. And uh, Bayberry can be somebody's. Pinky Winky can be somebody's. And that last um, Globe Cedar can be somebody's. Uh, we're going to put in the smoke, purple smoke tree next. And then we got two more trees. And then we got that other, <laughs> pardon me, leak tree of life over there. This tree of life is giving me a heart attack. I've been trying to get out of that bucket like 15 times. Blaine's with me here. So I said, and, and Blaine's standing right here. I said, listen, if it's because you don't want it in that hole and you want it in the hole. Like this one. Want this hole right behind Sh uh, Sherry, right behind Pop, then if that's the case, please take the bucket off easy. So that, because I, I can't get the bucket off the tree, right? So if it's that you want it in that hole, then what happened? Uh, you, you started struggling with the thing. You're like, hey, can you grab the bucket? And it just kind of fell off and fell into the hole. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, uh... I guess, I guess the fact you didn't specify you wanted my help, they just took it on themselves to help you. Right. And it went in the hole that we said, if that's where you want it. So, there it is. Anyway, I just thought, yeah. So, I guess that's confirmation. But that's pretty much. Okay. Hey, look at that. You got your own tree of life right behind you. Hi. Hey, wait. If she's pop and you're pops and I'm brother, would I be a big brother or a little brother? You'd be little brother. She's older than you. Yeah, but I feel like I've been in this line of work a little bit. You've been in, <laughs> you've been in the work a little longer. Okay, because she was a late bloomer. Uh, you started at three, <laughs> so yeah. So, and you've you've had my tutoring all these years, 
And she's only had my tutoring for a few years. So you're a little bit advanced. A little advanced? Yeah. I, I'm, yes. As compared to? Not advanced. Yeah. Okay, then here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so. That's pretty good, yeah? I thought so. All right, there you go, pup. You got your tree of life. And your brother helped put it in. Yeah. Hello, everybody. So the spirits made me move my tree. And I was really dead set against it. I said, I'm afraid it'll, roots will break off or whatever. And they said, no, you're going to move it. And I said, okay. Anyway, so, there's Angela's tree, and Drew's tree, and Sherry's tree, and a tree of life behind Sherry, which is what the spirits wanted in Aurora's tree. These trees aren't spoken for. You know everybody's trees over there. Anyway, so they said I had to move my tree and put it in front of this tree of life. Well, I, I said, I, I don't really think that's proper and I don't feel uh, that being about it. I was happy where it was but no they all said that to uh, a lot of YouTubians I'm like a uh, ancestor and since this is the ancestor grove part that my tree should be here with the ancestors so say la vie here's my tree uh, so white owls here this tree is not claimed Actually, none of these trees are claimed yet. Um, but, I'm in the ancestor part. So, there you are. Right by the tree of life. See you, see ya. Uh, okay, spirits are riding my ass tonight. There's the boxer plant. Now, I was about giving up on that plant because it really hasn't done much, or grown much, or done anything since we planted it. But they said... It needs to be in the ancestors area, so I, I was thinking about, you know, maybe giving up on it pretty soon, but according to them, that's all it needed was to be moved over here. So we're going to give it a couple weeks and see what happens. I, I believe them, don't get me wrong, but I mean, shh, I've been trying like crazy to get that thing to come around, but... But then I look at the other boxer plant, and I'm like, hmm, why is that one healthier? Uh, huh. Maybe they're onto something. Huh? We'll see. Hey, remember how I've been saying I've been worried about this little guy here? Okay, so they want it moved over to the ancients so that they can help it grow. So we're going to be moving that one too, apparently. And then... This whole side will be done. So the ancestors area will be complete. Okay. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, six or seven plants that can be claimed. Plus we still have one behind the angels and one at the four winds. Uh, so if you want to claim one... <laughs> That would be helpful if you want to adopt one <laughs> and have have your name in the grove. Well, you know what to do. Donations will help working with the grove. I hate asking, but if you want a tree, that's what we got to do. And obviously, though, if you can't afford a tree, if you can't afford the 25 donation, then don't hesitate to ask anyway because you know damn well I'm going to give you a tree, right? I'm happy to happy to donate the tree to you and the space. Um, if you can't, so please don't don't think you can't ask if 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 you don't think you can do it. Okay, so that one's gonna go right there, and then this one's done. Now, if anybody wants to take a risk on that little tree, <laughs> uh, you can make like a ten dollar donation, and we'll call it yours. And see what happens. Maybe they'll become the best tree in the yard. <laughs> <coughs> Runts always do, right? Runts always become the best. And so, 
Maybe if someone wants that one for 10 bucks, we'll, we'll do it. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, so there's my tree. There's a tree of life. There's a red berry tree, Colleen's tree, Amanda's tree, uh, box tree, and the other box tree that we just moved. I don't know what's going to happen with them. Uh, this here, we have uh, globe cedar and these two. Um, sorry, I'm tired. I can't even think of what they're called. <sighs> Sad, isn't it? Uh, hmm. I'll get back to you on it. <laughs> Is it possible for a tree to look happy because it moved? <laughs> Look at it. It looks like it's grinning. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just my imagination because I'm tired. But it kind of looks like it's grinning. <sighs> All right. It's up to you. I hope you grow. I really do.